Hi everyone, Richard here at Calvin Wazoo with another recent finds video where we can talk and sing about Grimble Grumble whilst we eat and sleep and drink our wine. So perhaps you might know that of the two records of these recent finds, well one, this is a giveaway because one of them is going to be this new release by M. Du Mokhtar, and then you might know from my little intro that the other release is going to be about Sid Barrett. And that's the one we're going to start with. This is a Peel session from 1988 with Sid Barrett. This has been on my want list for a while. And part of the problem is most of these are available in Britain. There are some vendors on the continent that are selling them, but man, it's really difficult to uh, find, or it rarely shows up, at least in a Discogs vendor in North America. And when the price might be reasonable by a British vendor, you know, you run into the problem with shipping costs it can double the album price. Um, so uh, it was been on my list for a long time, but then I saw a vendor, a US vendor with this available and it was a reasonable price and best of all, $5 shipping. Okay, come on. <laughs> Which I understand is probably gonna be going away. So anyway, uh, if you don't know anything about the Peel Sessions, John Peel, was a, uh, or is, I should say, a DJ, radio DJ in Britain. And he has recorded many, many sessions with many, many uh, outstanding artists. And uh, so, I mean, you've got, uh, there are newer releases that he is still doing. I have a couple of those. There are these classic releases from, um, the 80s, and some of them might even be earlier. Um, but yeah, he's done like New Order, Gang of Four, uh, Joy Division. Um, in fact, it looks like he's done a couple, uh, at least according to this list with Joy Division. But this one, Sid Barrett. Uh, this was from a session recorded in 1970. So this was also at the same time that Barrett was releasing two, uh, at least two solo albums post Pink Floyd. Uh, and that would include uh, the Madcap Laughs and also Barrett. Um, then there is also an other release, uh, solo release of Sid Barrett's called Opal. Uh, which I have all three of those, although they're all reissues, not originals. Um, yeah, so this is an OG pressing. It was recorded in 1970, wasn't released, I guess, until 1988. Uh, and playing with Sid is David Gilmore on a guitar and then Jerry Shirley uh, on percussion when, uh, when necessary. This is a really excellent sounding recording, both in terms of the overall sound quality, but also with Barrett's playing and singing. Um, he is even more on point, more coherent than he is on the solo releases that he did, like the Madcap Laughs or the uh, self-titled one. And I think that goes to John Peel's um, dedication and in, in, in ability to work with the artist. Uh, because, as I say, these are really great sessions. So um, it opens up with Terrapin, which is from the Madcap Laughs. Uh, really excellent, high quality sound. Then it goes into the Gigolo Aunt. Uh, from the record Barrett. And the recording on this release compared to the recording on um, the self-titled release 
is much sharper and cleaner. Uh, then we have uh, side two, this is a 45 RPM EP. Side two opens with Baby Lemonade, which is also from Barrett. Uh, really, really good uh, song. Then we have the Effervescing Elephant, which is again from uh, Barrett, but it's just this wonderful whimsical song with a very stream of consciousness narration where, you know, Sid is just going through the story of uh, the effervescing uh, elephant and just reciting the story, you know, boom, 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 and just really well done, well recorded. Um, then there's the song uh, Two of a Kind, which um, I was, I had trouble finding if this had been previously released. So um, that's of unknown origin. I don't know. Um, and uh, so if somebody knows, please leave it. Maybe I missed it on one of the other solo albums, but leave a comment in the down under uh, to help me figure that out. And then, um, which is a closer to the song, or excuse me, which is the, which is the closer to the album. Uh, so we've got, uh, yeah, five tracks, uh, really great sound quality. And the needle drop I have for you is Baby Lemonade. In the side town. I really admire and love Sid Barrett's storytelling, songwriting. I mean, he was the pop song writer of Pink Floyd. He knew how to write a pop song, um, as well as play uh, really amazing uh, guitar with a lot of different influences in his style. All right, so Sid Barrett finally in my collection from that Peel session. Now comes the brand new release by Amdu Mokhtar, Funeral for Justice. This re just released, I just got this in the mail this past week. Um, there's new tour that uh, the band is embarking on. They're coming to Chicago and I'll be seeing them again here in Chicago. I think this is going to be the fifth time I've seen them. So first time was at Lincoln Hall. The second time was at the Riviera. Um, the third time was um, at Thalia Hall, which was a fantastic concert. And then the fourth time uh, was at a free show in Central Park in New York City. Um, and that was really good. And that's when he talked about, this was from last summer, when I, uh, last uh, July, I think it was. Um, and that's when he started talking about what was going on in his home country of Niger, where there was a coup happening. And there's a lot of unrest that has been going on in Northwest Africa, in places like Niger, Mali, Algeria, that era area of the uh, Sahara Desert. And that's what, uh, uh, you know, a, a large part, the theme is to this song, Funeral for Justice. Um, it's on this very uh, nice red vinyl, um, and it sounds really good, really, really excellent pressing. I was a little um, ambivalent at first when listening to it. I was thinking, Ooh, this sounds a little bit distorted, you know, and and I thought, hmm, maybe my stylus, it's been a while for my stylus, maybe it needs to be replaced. But some of the other records I had been playing sounded okay, but nonetheless, I ordered a new stylus, it came in the mail, 
uh, and uh, last night and I put it on today and I just played this record again and yes, <laughs> I needed a new stylus and it, the sound quality is absolutely brilliant. Um, I purchased the, uh, pre-ordered the edition that comes with this like mini poster. It's a card, uh, you know, on cards, card stock, but signed by all the members of the band. So that's a very nice um, addition. And then the inner sleeve that it comes with, you've got uh, photos of the band members. And then of course, the lyrics here, and uh, which are in English. And, um, you know, the, 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 the translation, you know, it's, it's decent. It doesn't necessarily go well with what they're singing um on the record but uh, very great songs on here it opens with a uh, funeral for justice which just really starts the record off strong then the second uh track is imuhar which has this really soaring guitar solos in it it's it's very hendrix in its sound Akaba, which has a more contemplative mood uh, it's very atmospheric. The singer is restless and uh, singing about wanting this spear so that he can do battle with Satan. Um, and it has some really great rhythm to it as well. Then comes uh, Sosome Tomacek. And Sosome Tomacek also appears, it was uh, released earlier on the album of the same name, uh, which is primarily an acoustic album and you know it's a beautiful beautiful song um it translates uh so so mitomachek translates to cease weeping to much so uh first released in 2017 uh, but this one begins with uh, this distortion very it's a very very electri uh, electrified and it just catapults in a very rocking version of the song. Um, it has this very almost militaristic beat to it um, and also uh, has a very cool coda uh, within it and it's a song that he plays live a lot and just goes into uh, just these stellar guitar solos uh, really making that guitar uh, just out of this world. Then we've got, uh, uh, if I pronounce it right, uh, Imagigen. Imagigen is an acoustic uh, song that is a call to all Saharan people to unite. So again, ref addressing the issue of these military coups that are taking place in the region. Um, Tinta is a song of love for the homeland. Uh, really quite a beautiful song. You know, it, it, the opening in English, the translation, Ascending the Majestic Crest of Chinyafid Dune, Nostalgia for My Land Engulfs My Soul. Um, you know, it's, it's a, it is, when listening to it, a uh, song in, in the Tuareg language, um, it, it is just such a beautiful, beautiful song. Um, then we've got this like really short interlude called Jalo Number no. One, uh, just really short instrumental interlude before it goes into the song O France, um, which is uh, a rocking attack on French colonialism, which was the colonizer of much of Northwest Africa. Um, and then uh, the uh, album ends with Modern Slaves. This is an acoustic closer. Um, and again, it, it does, it continues the attack on developed countries for their exploitation of African resources, leaving the countries uh, both economically deprived, but in often in environmental ruin. So um, yeah, so very political album, but also really, really strong album and I am looking forward to the tour you know when they come uh, again to Chicago they have actually two nights in Chicago they added another one but it's a very small bar venue which 
would be kind of cool to see them in that environment. But it's, um, you know, Thalia Hall is where they're performing again for the big night on a, uh, on a Tuesday night. And this Monday night edition at this, at this bar, uh, it's called The Broken Bottle, is really difficult for me to get to. And Thalia Hall is already a bit of a truck for me to get to. Um, so, yeah, it's probably a little bit too much. Um, so this, uh, album with the needle drop I'm going to, uh, play for you is, uh, the song Imuhar. You have not seen Emdu Mukhtar. You need to. This guy, not only he, not only is he just an absolutely amazing electric guitar player, acoustic guitar player. He's just an amazing guitar player. His band is incredible as well. The rhythm section is just spot on. And they Many of the songs change tempo within the song, and other songs, not you know, not just a dramatic change in tempo, but there are songs in which the tempo intentionally gradually speeds up, um, and then you know, the tempo will change to uh, something else. So just really incredible watching them play. Um, you, you think a song is just about over and then, you know, he's, they've got their signals down so that they can keep playing where, you know, um, the bug hits Amdu Mukhtar and he's just playing, um, out of his mind. I'm really looking forward to this show. I hope it's going to be, uh, uh, you know, as excellent as all the others that I've seen. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, uh, hit that like button. It helps out with distribution. Um, you can leave a comment in the down under. I love getting the comments. Really appreciate uh, your thoughts and, and your comments. You can find me also on Instagram where I go by the handle of newsdude76. That's N-E-W-Z-D-U-D-E-7-6. And then I have a Facebook page called Kellen Wazoo, where not only do I post my videos here from YouTube, but I post other videos, uh, music-related content, as well as articles that I find of interest, um, again, musically related. So thank you again for watching. Like, subscribe if you want, and always remember to pray for the people inside your head for they won't be there when you're dead.